Hello everybody, this is the uni knot. Begin by running the end of your line through the eye of the hook. Then turn the end of the line back towards the eye and form a loop. At this point, with one hand, pinch both strands and the crossing strand. Next, start wrapping the tag end around both strands of line and through the loop using your free hand. The amount of wraps can vary, but as a general rule, the more wraps the better. Then, pull the tag end until the wraps come together, forming an adjustable loop. Finally, pull the main line to slide the knot down to the eye of the hook. Alright, so that is the uni knot, and in my opinion, that is the best knot that you can use when bass fishing with braid or fluorocarbon. Next, we're going to talk about some of the specifics of the knot, and then we're going to finish off with why I think it's the best. And if at any time you'd like to skip ahead or go back, you can do so by clicking the buttons on the right. As with just about any knot that you tie, you're going to want to wet the line before cinching the uni knot. So with the uni, you're actually going to wet the line in two places, here and here. This is especially important with fluorocarbon lines because they can easily be damaged due to the heat that's generated when cinching. The uni knot is a pretty easy knot to tie once you get used to the hand positioning. Now here's how I hold it. I place the bait or the hook in the palm of my left hand, leaving my thumb and index finger free. That allows me to pinch the lines when I make my loop. Then I use my right hand to do the wraps. Like any knot, it does take a little bit of practice to get comfortable with. But once you master it, it can be tied just as fast as, say, a Palomar. The uni knot is a very strong knot by itself, but doubling the line like you would do to start a Palomar is going to give you an even stronger knot. Big time advocates of this knot, like Elite Series Pro Aaron Martins, will always double the line on the uni. Also, the uni knot has several different applications. For example, you can omit the final step and cinch the knot here by pulling the tag in snug, forming a loop knot. Also, this knot can be used as a line-to-line -line knot, like if you wanted to connect a fluorocarbon leader to braid. It's called a double uni knot, and you can search YouTube to learn how to tie that. To reach the full potential of this knot, you need to use as many wraps as possible. The more wraps, the stronger the knot's going to be. For smaller diameter lines, you can use more wraps. Eight or more is best. If you're doubling the line, you can get away with using less wraps, like around six. One of the strengths of the uni knot is its small knot size, so don't worry about using lots of wraps. In fact, those wraps, or coils, are one of the main reasons this knot will never slip when using braid. So why the uni knot? Well, let's first look at what makes a good knot in general. I think there's three things. Strength, how easily and quickly it can be tied, and consistency. There are many knots out there that might test well in two of those three categories, but the uni knot shines in all three, which is why I think it's the best. The uni knot is a very consistent knot, and by that, I mean it cinches perfectly like 99.9% .9 of the time. No matter how ugly it may look at first, it almost always corrects itself and forms an extremely neat knot. And that's crucial when using fluorocarbon, 
Having imperfect knots or overlapping parts can cause the line to cut into itself, leading to knot failure. The number one thing people will look to when talking about knots is the knot strength. Knot strength is measured as a percentage, the percentage of the strength of the line where the knot fails. So let's say you're using 12 pound mono and your knot is failing at 6 pounds of pressure. The knot is testing at 50% knot strength. So how do we measure the point at which knots fail? Well, an often used test is the straight pull test, where knots are subjected to steady increases in tension. But here's where the video might get a bit controversial. You can basically throw out those tests. They simply don't have any real world application on the water. When we set the hook, or when a big bass makes a final run right at the boat, those aren't slow steady pulls. They're usually violent and fast pulls. So the much more accurate and practical test is the shock test, a quick and sudden pull on the knot. The single uni knot scores between 80 and 90% knot strength using that test. When doubled, it will test right at 100%. It's incredibly hard to break. On the flip side, there are many popular knots out there, like the Palomar for example, that test well on steady pulls, but don't perform as well when it's subjected to that quick hard snap. And I don't want this to turn into a Palomar bashing video. I know a lot of people out there use the Palomar, and it does work for them. But I think there's quite a bit of misinformation out there. Many of those knots just aren't as strong as advertised. Thanks everybody for watching. Feel free to comment below and let me know what kind of knot you like to use. And as usual, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one.